All right, guys, uh, welcome back to the MB Wildman channel. And uh, on today's episode, we're gonna talk about my super secret hunting spot number two for deer. And uh, in this case, I'm gonna try something completely new, completely different for me, so uh, you'll find out the results at the same time I do. Um, I had a comment on my super secret spot number one video uh, from a great guy named Joseph Bennett. And uh, he asked me uh, why I don't use a certain mixture of uh, minerals and salts to attract my deer in the springtime. And I said, well, it's just something I haven't considered or tried. And uh, he wrote to me and said, you will not be disappointed if you try this, uh, this mixture out. So, um, you know, anybody that's an avid whitetail hunter, always willing to try something new. So at my super secret spot number two here, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna try what Mr. Bennett suggested. And I'll let you in on that just in a minute. And then hopefully in a couple, three weeks, we'll be back with uh, some results on this super secret deer spot number two. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to the NB Wildman channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, uh, turn on those notifications so that you get notified when we upload new content. And uh, as always, looking for comments, questions, we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. So uh, here we are, uh, my super secret, deer, super secret deer spot number two. Uh, it's about a thousand acres uh, difference uh, between super secret deer spot number one and this one. And again, bear in mind, this is all uh, public land that I hunt and uh, our deer population in New Brunswick isn't exactly exploding. Uh, there's, there's very few nice bucks around, but there are some. Uh, you just got to put some time and effort into the woods to get them. So, um, uh, ooh, mosquitoes are bad here as well. Uh, anyway, here we are on uh, June 9th and uh, a little late for me to get started, but I really wanted to try this guy's uh, suggestion uh, of this concoction that he's, that he's uh, decided to to, you know, to let me in on what he uses. Uh, I believe he's from Kentucky, so we'll see, you know, kind of how it relates uh, to here in good old New Brunswick. But, um, so my position right now, uh, I'm on a, about a 200 acre piece of ground uh, separated on, um, on one side by some agriculture fields, uh, probably 2,000 yards that way. Uh, and uh, due uh, west of me on this side is, um, is an old, an old cutting, an old chopping. Uh, it's probably got five to ten year growth on it pretty thick you might see a moose in it but i doubt it all right so right behind me here is where i've selected for my spot and it's a pretty pretty wide open area of some mature forest so not a lot of undergrowth uh easy spot for a tree stand or even a ground blind uh once i see what's here so i'll be looking exactly um i guess if i look at my compass if i was back that way looking at my spot i'd be looking pretty much west or northwest so um i'd have a, a west wind coming in my face and uh, a north wind uh, blowing out into that into that cut so the way I walk in the trail so the wind is pretty good for here so um, anyway without further ado uh, I'm gonna just to let you in on what he told me to do and then I'm gonna go do it and then we're gonna hang a camera and we're gonna see how it works out so what Joseph told me was that where he is what he uses uh, is he he roughs up about a three foot circle the same as I did in, in super secret deer spot number one uh, maybe a little bit bigger than that he suggested and he suggested a 20 pound uh, pail of lucky buck all right, guys, so here we got Lucky Buck. Uh, all kinds of fun claims on the, on the container here. No site prep, just dump it out. Helps develop healthier deer, larger racks. Uh, this is my particular favorite. Bigger racks or your money back guaranteed. And uh, I've never used it before. I've seen it. Um, didn't love the price of it based on what I thought it was. But uh, again, I'm taking a chance on this, so... Uh, 20 pounds of Lucky Buck and mix that in the spot with 20 pounds of general purpose mineral uh, from Tractor Supply Company. Um, that combined with uh, some vanilla extract uh, around the spot and in, a, in an outlying circle around the perimeter of it. Um, and he said, lose the salt rock. Don't put the, uh, don't put the 12 pound like Jurassic or trophy rock that I usually put on the spot. He said, don't use that. So just use the two minerals, the lucky buck and the all purpose, uh, from tractor supply and then, uh, sprinkle around some vanilla extract. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to get this spot set up and take a, and take a look uh, at what we're at when we're done. And then I'll hang a camera. And again, like I said, we'll get back to you with some results just as soon as I can, because I'm itching to see if this guy knows what he's talking about or if it's just, you know, just another guy giving suggestions that only works where he's at. So uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll be right back with you. Okay, so there's our three foot circle uh, that we've got cleared away. Uh, and uh, we're gonna apply the, uh, the general purpose mineral from uh, Tractor Supply next.
Okay, got that all mixed in pretty good with the soil. Uh, now it's gonna be 20 pounds of the Lucky Buck uh, mineral that we have in this bucket here. And uh, then we're gonna leave about 10 pounds to mix in and then 10 pounds to leave on the top uh, and on a little bit of a stump that's over there. So we'll do that. Okay, so there's our uh, lucky buck. And I'm gonna mix that in a little bit, uh, but not too much. And then I'm gonna put my uh, vanilla extract around a little bit and uh, we're gonna set up a camera. Okay, so there's my spot. Uh, I'm gonna set up a camera right here, actually on this tree that the, uh, that the my camera's on that I'm taking this video with. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll, uh, I'll give you a once over the spot and we'll, we'll get out of here. So here we are. Uh, I spread my, uh, spread my vanilla extract around a little bit. And this is my circle of mineral and lucky buck. And uh, there's a stump over there, right there that I put a little bit on. It's supposed to, uh, it's supposed to rain real good here in a couple days. So hopefully some of that will soak in and stay down through the ground. And uh, hung my camera right here. Okay, so I'm about, uh, this is one of the, uh, this is one of my Bushnell HD cameras. So I'm, I don't know, 10 yards, maybe 12 yards back from my spot. And uh, we're going to name this, of course, Super Secret Deer Spot number two. And once again, thanks again to uh, Joseph Bennett for the, um, for the idea for this product and this mixture. And we're going to see if, uh, if it works as good here in New Brunswick on public land as it does for, uh, as it does for him. So uh, anyway, uh, stay tuned to the MB Wildman channel for the, uh, for the results of this. And uh, again, two, three weeks. We'll be back here to check out this spot. Um, it's, like I say, it's the 9th of June today. So we'll come back, you know, mid-July probably, uh, or the first week of July, and check out and see what kind of activity has been here. Uh, nice spot, I like it real well. Lots of nice, mature, open, a uh, little water that way. And again, like I say, uh, right here on the north end, uh, northwest is that uh, is that cutover. So uh, looks like a pretty good area <laughs> and uh, I'm excited to see what's here. So uh, until then, uh, happy hunting from the MB Wildman channel.